welcome everyone to a new lesson. I am Neharika and in today's lesson we are gonna look at phrasal verbs about money. Well as I said that we all love to talk about money be it the beginning of the month or the end of the month we all talk about money. So in today's lesson we are gonna look at some phrasal verbs that would help you to talk about money whether it's about having money giving money spending money well it's a great opportunity to look at these phrasal verbs here so let's get started the very first phrasal verb that we have here is save up now to save up it means to keep money or to save money for a large expense. Now especially when we have to buy something really nice and it's sure super expensive then we tend to save money for it. Like I have this dream car that I really want to buy for myself. So I'm trying to save up for that. So all of you there I'm sure even you have some large expenses that keep coming up and in order to fulfill that goal or to achieve that you end up keeping money or saving money for it. So the best phrasal verb that you can use to do so is save up. Like for example, let's look at a sentence. I am trying to save up for the big house. So it means I really want to buy a big house for myself so I'm trying to save up for it. Okay so that's how you can use this phrasal verb. Now let's have a look at another one here which is cough up. Cough. <coughs> well that's not what I'm talking about. Cough up. Well here when we talk about money the exact meaning of this phrasal verb is To spend reluctantly. You know at times you end up spending on something that you really don't want to. It kind of pinches your pocket to do so. So it means that you cough up money. So for example like last month my car broke down and in order to fix my car I had to cough up a lot of money. Well, that's an expense that I was not expecting and to get my car fixed, I had to spend a lot of money. So that kind of pinched my pocket. I had to spend reluctantly. So here I will use this phrasal verb that I had to cough up a lot of money to get my car fixed. It means I had to spend reluctantly on it. Okay, so use this phrasal verb. It's simple and it sounds great. Let's have a look at third phrasal verb, which is cut back. Now, there's another phrasal verb pretty similar to it, which is cut down. So it's cut back and cut down. And what does it really mean? Well, to spend less. So to spend less money, like I really need to cut back on my shopping expenses. Yes, I love shopping. I love buying clothes. I love buying shoes. I love buying accessories, but I am spending too much of money on these things. So I really need to cut back on my shopping expenses, which means I need to spend less money on these things. Okay, so even if you end up spending a lot of money and now it's time to cut back, then use this phrasal verb that you need to cut back on your expenses or you need to cut down on your expenses. Both of the phrasal verbs mean the same. 
and use it when you are trying to spend or you really want to spend less money. All right, let's have a look at another phrasal verb, which is to fork out. Wow, have you heard that before? Well, fork out is pretty similar to the phrasal verb that we learned here, which is to cough up. Fork out is again to spend reluctantly, okay? So it's just the same as cough up. Again, when you end up spending a lot of money and you really don't want to do that, so it means you fork out that money. So again, for example, I had to buy a laptop for work and well, it was not really required, but then I had to and I had to spend a lot of money. So I had to fork out a lot of money in order to buy this laptop. So it means that yes, I spent a lot of money and that too reluctantly. It did pinch my pocket to do so. Hence, I am using this phrasal verb, okay? Let's have a look at another one, which is splash out. Well, what does it mean? To splash out, it means to spend freely, to spend lavishly on something really nice. Okay, so last weekend I went to the mall and I absolutely loved this dress and therefore I splashed out a lot of money to buy this dress. So this dress was so gorgeous that I had to buy it for myself. It was super expensive also, but then I didn't really care. I splashed out a lot of money to buy it because I totally loved it. So, if you end up spending a lot of money, okay, you literally splash out money to buy something which you really wanted to or which is something nice, then you splash out money, okay? So, that's how you will use this phrasal verb. It means to spend lavishly on something really nice or on something that you really needed, all right? And then the next one that I have for you is pay off. So pay off, it means to uh, give money uh, or to pay back or to repay on the debt. So, you know, we take loans like we have personal loans, we have education loans. Uh, or our credit card bills, okay, yeah, it turns out to be expensive. So when you are trying to repay, okay, repay a loan or pay your credit card bills, that's when you end up using this phrasal verb. For example, I need to pay off my credit card bills as soon as possible or else I'll have to pay a lot of interest, okay? So here, you have to repay it, right? For example, if you have taken up a loan, okay, and now it's time to repay that debt, then that's when you will use this phrasal verb that I need to pay off my education loan, okay? So that's how you will use this phrasal verb. And now it's time for the last phrasal verb, which is rip off. So what does it mean? Well, have you heard about this? Well, this car was a total ripoff. So ripoff actually means that you ended up spending a lot of money on something that was not really worth. Okay, to spend too much on something that's not at all worth it. So it means it's a total ripoff. Now, uh, ripoff has another meaning, which is uh, to get cheated, okay?
So like for example, you walk into a store and uh, you're trying to uh, buy something for yourself. For example, you really like the ring that you want to pick up and the salesman ends up, you know, coding a price for the ring and you think that well the ring is not so expensive like it doesn't look so expensive so why has he coded such a big price for it so it means that he is trying to cheat you okay so he's trying to rip you off okay so that's how you can use the phrasal verb it's when you're trying to when someone is trying to cheat you so it means he's trying to rip you off okay and the another way that you can use this phrasal verb is when you end up spending too much of money uh, on something which is not even worth it like i said i ended up buying a car for myself and it was a total rip off so i ended up spending too much of money to buy this car but now i just feel it's just basic car like there's nothing interesting about it it's just a basic car okay so that's how you can use these seven phrasal verbs in order to talk about money so hope you enjoyed this lesson and please go ahead and practice these phrasal verbs it would be helpful and you will be able to speak fluently as well i'll be back with a new lesson till then you take care